Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the next 24 hours. So we're just going to see what comes up. Let's do weekend. Let's do the weekend. We'll do a weekend update. Energy. Well, yeah, so 24 or 48 hours, right? Whatever. Three of Cups reversed. So the party is over. This is parting ways, termination. Um, bitchy women, gossip, uh, no reunion. Could be a separation. Typically this is parting ways from friends or family. It is. I feel like uh, there's some strong competitiveness and emotions could be all over the place. So that could cause the termination of, you know, a situation, a friendship. This has this could be friends or family. This is like a mess. Let's get one more. This this could also be enemies or an enemy. It could be enemies, but it could be an enemy disguised as a friend as well. So gossip, gossip, you know, envy, jealousy. Ten of Wands reverse. So Ten of Wands reverse is a release. All right, so letting go of a burden, letting go of baggage, letting go of something that was heavy. Um, this is a release of pressure, honestly, it is. So somebody could also be making a change. This is making a conscious change, and this could be giving up drinking, giving up a third party, giving up a group, uh, maybe friends, letting something go that is draining, that is heavy, that is overwhelming. This is a break. This is a break. And this could be emotional breakdown. Just saying, it could be an emotional breakdown. This could definitely be a breakdown. Um, Ten of Wands reverse is a release. It's a release. It's a drop. Now, it's dropping something that is too much to hold on to. Getting rid of something. Now, this could have to do with friends. Community, group, the party is over. The party is over. The party is over. This is all done. That Ten of Wands reversed is all done. Not interested in carrying it or holding on to it or any of that anymore. So letting go brings relief. One more. What is this? Three of Cups reversed. There's unhappiness. There's no, somebody's not happy. There's no joy. There's, it's like, Party's over. The celebration is over. There's gossip. There's there's heaviness here. Seven of Cups. So here we have exploring options. Plenty of options. Plenty of choices. Making a choice. There's been some sort of 
I want to clarify the Three of Cups. There's been other options. Somebody has been, and this some for some of you, this may have to do with drinking because of all the cups. There's lots of options here. Somebody's been unhappy. They've been really unhappy. Maybe there's a lot of women involved or friends involved or a third party involved or drinking involved even, but I do believe that there's there's ex exploring the options and letting go of something that is gone already. It's like there's an emptiness there. It's it's too much. It's like this is too much. It's like no no longer interested in in, in engaging in it. This is a it's like freeing, freeing. It's like freeing oneself. Somebody has been confused. They've been trying really hard to make something work, you know, and now it's just like a breaking point. This is a break. This is a breaking point. So we have making a conscious change to part ways with something that has brought short-lived fulfillment. It hasn't, it's been very emotional and heavy and hard to hold on to. So we have a free, we have freedom we, because that Ten of Wands reverse is freedom. I also feel like we have somebody here that has been disillusioned, right? They've been confused. They've been... I don't know, maybe listening to their friends or trying to prove something to their friends or their family. But this is like, ain't got nothing left to prove. So yeah, that's what I got. Parting ways with friends or family. This is a release of a, of something that was held on to. Okay, this is a sudden release. It's like a sudden drop. Good luck.